This video is gonna be about terror raid dens. It's gonna be like a, a guide, tips, tricks, strats, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go over these magic crystal rocks you find in the middle of Paldea in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So around here, you notice these shapes that have different typings on them. So these are the Terra Raid Dens. They range from one star to seven stars. Uh, at one, it, before you beat the game, it actually spawns between one to four star, depending on where you are in the story. Obviously, the more the story you beat, the higher it goes. I think the loot differences are just like the chances. And then after you beat the game, you unlock five stars. And and after you do like a couple, I think like 15 or 20, four stars or five stars, you unlock six stars. And for seven stars, I have no idea. Maybe if you do a lot of six stars, you unlock it. If not, it's, it could be a event thing. But yeah, you notice that these beams, they're actually the dens. Uh, if you get close enough, the beams kind of disappear. We're going to talk to him right now. You want to talk to them when you see them because they actually give you LP. Even if you don't actually... I, I probably talked to this already. So that, maybe that's why the beam wasn't there if you're far away. But if you talk to them, you get LP. Oh no. I ran to a rookie B. Yeah, this video is unedited, by the way. And live on Twitch right now. So you can see everyone here. Uh, I might talk to chat for a bit. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How's everyone doing? So, yeah, you go to these dens. You notice how you get LP right here, right? Four star gives you 1,200. Three stars give you 1,000. Five stars give you down 500. And six stars give you down 800. So even if you don't want to do them, you should just talk to them and you can decide whether you want to do them or not. Okay, so the loot differences for between uh, four stars and five stars is that you get a bottle cap, which is good for hyper training, uh, which is for your IVs. You can check out the video I did on that. You also get ability capsule, which allows you to switch from abilities to another ability, not hidden ones, just the regular ones. You also get herbs, which you use to make fancy sandwiches, especially the sparkling power ones. Uh, at six stars, you actually get all those, of course, but a higher chance. And you also get a 1% chance of getting an ability patch, which allows you to switch your Pokemon to a hidden ability or hidden ability to a regular one. In case, you know, you got shiny or whatever you want to deal with. And then... The strat for actually picking your Pokemon to do this depends on the Pokemon and the Terra type. So when you're looking at this, you look at the terror type. That's what you want to do offensively against that. So if it's a fire, you want to use water to attack it or like ground or whatever. And then you look at the Pokemon. This, I don't know how to pronounce this, Amola Mola, whatever this fish thing is, it's a water type, right? So you want to use something that can resist water while you're able to deal damage to it. So you might as well just bring in the water type against this thing. You will dominate the heck out of this, okay? So, we're gonna go into the Poke Portal. There's like different ways to join. If you're offline, you can just do it offline. You give you a number link code. You can join in from there. Um, and of course, if you do it online, you get like a, a bunch of other link codes. We'll go, we'll look at that in a bit when I do a raid. But here you go to the Terra Raid section. There's like a bulletin board. These are like kind of random. I don't even know if these are friends or whatever. But if you can't decide which one, you can choose random. And obviously, if you wait long enough, you can actually refresh by pressing X, okay? So here, you can actually go through the link code. So if you're actually not in someone's world um, and you want to just join someone else like a streamer, like this stream right here, uh, I have post a link code, you go here, you type in your link code, you join. But if you're somehow in the union circle, like you're in the world kind of thing, if you go to the bulletin board and someone did a raid, you can see notifications on top, you go there, Join it, you don't need a link code, okay? Just fine. And these terror raids had the chance for hidden ability, so it's another nice thing. And they also give better IVs. Um, I believe like what four star give you like four I best IVs, five star, five or six star give you like six I it could get perfect, who knows, right? I think five star you could get like five perfect IVs and then six star can have six perfect IVs. 
or like it's a like higher chance of getting it. So we're gonna do a raid right here, right? You can challenge alone, get NPCs. You can challenge as a group, right? You can let anyone join, which is the random get the posting. All right, so correction here: five star is four guarantee, six star is five perfect guarantee, with chances of six IVs for both. So either way, you can still have a chance, just higher chance, right? Yeah. So you can. I usually join link code since I'm on stream, and then you give that link code right there. This one DHSN. Three zero. If anyone wants to join, you guys are welcome to. It's just a four star, nothing too fancy. I don't have this Pokemon, so I'm gonna catch it. It does have a guaranteed catch rate, so um, you can use whatever ball you want. So these raids are pretty much how you say it. I'm gonna bring a water Pokemon. Oh, I got full. So these raids. Yeah, these raids are pretty much, if you could think of it as like a 1v1, but with a share health bar and a share timer with your teammates. And if someone were, you or your ally were to faint, then the timer, a chunk of the timer will actually go down. So you don't want to die or faint that much because then you're going to drain down the timer. So if you notice suddenly your timer is down, someone probably fainted, either you or your teammate. Or a group of you so be careful and every time you faint there's like a five second timer to respawn the next time you faint 10 seconds and so on and so on and we got two shinies over here nice <laughs> so the way it works is that you have a battle right and then if you do four attacks um you can have a chance to terrestrialize um if you do cheer it doesn't count towards the attacks by the way And then the cheering, there's like three of them, right? Attack, defense up, and the heal. That affects your whole group. You get three of each. You can do whichever one you want, right? I'm just going to do this for fun. It's a four star. I don't really care. <laughs> you guys got this in the bag. So the boss can sometimes attack twice and also has the chance to like nullify all effects, all your buffs, all the negative effects that it has, right? So you got to be careful, okay? You got to be careful. And then th throughout the battle, um, if you don't kill it fast enough, it can throw out a shield, right? And that shield is like a terrestrialized shield. And it, it takes reduced damage from regular attacks. Unless you use terrestrialized attacks, then it increases damage. So you want to save your terrestrialized when you actually get there. And you want to be careful, you don't want to terrestrialize when you're about to like faint because you want to terrestrialize once in the raid, okay? So if you do it and you faint, you can't do it again. So be, be careful. So now I'm going to talk about some strategies that you can use, especially if you're getting carried, okay? Like for a 5 star or 6 star. If you don't have like the correct Pokemon or the boss is hitting you like super hard, you can just not do anything because if you don't do anything, the boss doesn't do anything, at least not for you. So you can just stall and have your teammates carry you. And then you just sometimes, okay, there's a chance that it will auto attack for you, but it's very low. Like I just tested it with the, with the stream and, and I had two people just like not do anything. Right. And then one person didn't get a auto attack at all. And then the other time, someone actually got forced to do all attack, but only once. It wasn't even that big of a deal. And and then we just carried. <laughs> Super hard. And we won. So you, a good strategy to have like two, two DPSs or yeah, two, two DPSs and then two people get AFK if they're not if they're weak enough. So this is the one to ice. Water. Ooh, I don't know if I want to use this one, right? I don't know if I want to use this Pokemon. Yeah, if I find a 5-star, that would be good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for raids. Like, this is the rundown of raids. Use that strat, right? Just stall. Maybe we can find one right now. Um, let's try to find this grass one right here. Hopefully it's a 5-star. Could do a five-star raid, and then we'll 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 just 
throw it out. Does anyone want to get carried? <laughs> we need you to not do anything. Oh no, I went inside. I was right by the door. <laughs> Alright, we're we going back out. We're going back out. We're going back out. If you guys are still here watching the video, I appreciate you all. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, continue watching the rest of the video, and then I can show you if we can actually do a five star raid here. Let's see. Like, hopefully, this is the five star. It's a four star. Unfortunate. I don't have any good fighting mons at the moment, so I don't know if I want to do that one. There's also a way to reset dens. So I might as well do that now if I can't find one. Uh, so we're actually, if you guys are still here, <laughs> there's a way to reset your dens. It requires you changing your time. So I'm pretty sure you guys know from the regular other videos that I did with the berries and the reset EVs. All right. So you could just save here. You got a five star water? Okay, I'll join you. And we can show you how to, how that works. But I'm gonna reset first, right? And then you're gonna go to the system settings. Date time, if you have it on, turn it off. Increase it by a day. So this pretty much resets the whole day in the game when you load back into the game. So that pretty much respawn all the dens and it'll go into different locations. Like you notice, I was in front of a, of a grass den, right? And then everyone's gonna fight for the code. It could happen. <laughs> I mean, if I don't get in, I don't get in. It's fine. I'm pretty sure you guys got the picture. They just don't touch their controller, and half the people just just carry it. I mean, we could just run two raid groups, to be honest. All right. So it respawn. You know that the den is gone. But now all the dens kind of like respawn here. I have a, I have a fairy one here now. Yeah. All right. Send me the code. Let's go. I just joined. I joined a five star. All right. So I'm gonna have to go online here. Let me go online. Communicating. Saving. I have auto save on. Poke portal. I'm gonna terror raid. Did I get a message on Discord? So this is how you join the raid. You notice here that they, they blocked out the, the O because there's a zero. Alright, so that's the code guys. You guys see it? <laughs> In chat, it's the water one with fire, huh? It's water, fire. Um, I probably shouldn't bring. I could bring. I could bring a zoom roll and use fairy moves. <laughs> yeah, it's a water terror. I don't have any electric or grass, but. We have someone that can carry, right? The Maridon is actually a good Pokemon to use, like the legendaries. So if you can level them up, that would be good. So I guess another tip right now. Yeah, you don't need to attack. Another tip right now is to make sure you have your EVs trained, uh, built out. Most of the time you want to go all attack. Um, make sure the natures get the mints. All, all attack and then maybe HP for rage because Speed, not really that, not much of a difference. All right, so we just need to ready up here. So yeah, EV EV matter. So make sure you build your your Pokemon. Good luck to me because I don't have any. I don't have I don't have anything strong against a water at the moment. So we're gonna have Slim Jim carry here, but I will also attack because I'm level one hundred. Huh. <laughs> Oh, 
Try again this one. Solo carry. I mean, I'm gonna attack too. Which is gonna have Leo and and Bunny not do anything. I'm just gonna do berry moves. He's a water terror type. I'm very resistant, so it can't really hurt me. Except if it has wild charge. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, so far, so far no wild charge. Be good, be good. I don't want to get burned though. Damn, you're destroying that. Alright, so now it's Terrastalize Shield. I don't have enough attacks to Terrastalize. Because the shield gets you the threshold, right? It gets you a threshold. If you don't kill it, like it has a window where you can kill it without having to do shield if you can kill it harder fast enough. But once you get like halfway point, um, and if you don't kill it anytime after, it will it will render a shield and heal up back to half. That's why sometimes it does risk. It there is there is a risk of it dying and then reviving back and forth. I do have a video on that on YouTube, by the way. We we're fighting Grimstar, five star, and it just kept getting revived over and over. Oh, I'm rain dancing. Screw this. <laughs> if you see Sunny Day, yo, I'm not letting that happen, man. Cause then even. If it's not very effective, it does more damage. So far, see? Getting carried right now. Ooh, that hurt. Screen speed. Alright, I'm gonna need a heal. Does someone wanna drop a heal? Like, you notice my HP is low, so maybe, uh... It will bring out the heals. Fire fanging me. Yeah, they're not attacking, so they're not dying. But then, obviously, if you cheer, um, that happens, right? Wait, I aqua tail by accident. Crap. <laughs> I aqua tail by accident. Oops. All right, we good. See? The others didn't even do anything. We don't even have a Garchomp here. Yeah? GG. Arcanine caught. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll, I'll have more Pokemon videos in the future. Alright, later days.